first of all, it was a great feeling when, when, when to find out that you're going to be taking over a program, um, you're going to be named head coach, you know, in, in, in the city that you, you know, grew up in. Um, like you said, not, not my alma mater, which is St. Thomas More, which happens to fall in the district that we play in, which is also a, a, a plus side to all this. I guess the coach against my former coach and coach against my former high school team. But uh, being named the head coach at Opelousas uh, meant a lot to me. I uh, want to come back here. I came back as an assistant to, uh, to help a lot of kids, to help the, you know, bring the community closer. Um, with, with the program and, and uh, you know, help more of these kids maybe have an opportunity to go on to play college ball or, or just even graduate and get out of uh, Opelousas, you know. Yeah, year, year one of the job, uh, we, we start off the season 0-3, and you know, uh, and, and, and the teams kind of want to separate and a couple different kids want to try to do their own thing. Um, and so we had to, we had to right the ship. We had to make sure that everybody uh, was following my direction, being the head coach. Um, and then once we got once we got the ship back sailing in the right direction, we had a pretty successful season. Um, uh, we we ended up winning 17 games. We uh, made the made the playoffs. We actually uh, upset the number seven seed Tioga in the first round. We're the only 4A school to win a road game in the first round of the uh, of the high school playoffs. And then that allowed us to host a uh, home game, which is always a plus for your program when you can host a home playoff game. You get the chance to uh, play one more game in front of your home crowd, but also uh, a chance to raise money, you know, uh, you know, making a lot of money, good money at the door. We had over a thousand people at the game. Um, so it, it, it helped us going forward, even though we came up short with a loss, it helped us going forward, um, you know, with purchasing of new uniforms and stuff like that, having a big playoff game like that gave us a, a good bonus in our account. And coming into year two, we actually lost, we lost the three or four seniors, two guys really played a lot, uh, Tara Lewis. Um, great kid, 4.0 kid, averaged about 15 points a game, high jumping kid. Um, and then uh, Marvin Thompson, uh, another you know, great basketball player, um, uh, averaged about 18 points a game. Um, so we lost those two guys um, from last year, you know, but we had some guys that um, got to play a lot of minutes last year. And uh, with that being said, I think the team Point wise, it'll be uh, more spread out. It'll be more, uh, you know, I think we'll have four or five guys averaging 10 to 12 points uh, versus the one or two guys averaging 15, 20 points a game, you know. So I think the scoring's gonna be balanced. I think we'll play a couple more players because we're gonna pick up the pace this year. We're gonna press a lot and um, do a lot of trapping, uh, trapping and stuff like that where guys are gonna get tired and we got to sub those next guys in. The message to the Opelousas fan base is just come out and support, man. You know, you'd be amazed of, of what a uh, team can do or uh, the, uh, the encouragement it gives the kids when they're out there, when they have a bunch of people, you know, when they have a bunch of people in the stands, you know, rooting for them and uh, causing chaos. And, you know, it's a home field advantage. So, you know, just come out, you know, support the team. Uh, be as positive as you can. Uh, bring a friend with you to the game. You know, you're going to get good quality basketball. We have a good schedule this year. A lot of good good teams coming into Opelousas to play. We have 14 home games scheduled. So um, definitely come out, support the kids, and, um, you know, support the youth in the community too, man. That You know, that's the future of our high school. If these kids can, uh, you know, get, get on the right track early, when they get to high school over here, it'll be real easy for them. The transition from junior high to high school will be real easy for them. And make it a lot easier on the on the on the teachers as well as the coaches, and and that's all we're trying to do at Opelousas High. We're trying to build a sports program, but we're also trying to make the school as a whole better. Um, you know, and, and I think if everybody's on the same page, coaches, teachers, the community, you know, we we can have success.